Good morning, everyone. Karen from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to be sharing something with you special that we have added in our family morning basket, and I will be back to let you know what it is. <music> Welcome back everyone. This morning we're going to be talking about birds and how amazing they are and how much we love birds and being out in nature and just discovering such beautiful things about birds, just hearing their, their chirping. I love this sound. I love that sound. All the beautiful songs that the birds sing. It's such a blessing. Um, and this year, we do a family morning basket. And we are going to be doing learning about birds. And this is a living science handbook by Sonia Schaefer, Simply Charlotte Mason. And this is what we're going to use for our spine. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm not certain if you have um, done this or not. If you have, leave your comments down below how you liked it and let me know. It says, enjoy learning about birds with a beloved author of Nature Stories for Children. The Burgess Bird Book for Children and Blackie the Crow have long been favorite books among students interested in birds. Now you can use this companion guide alongside both of Thornton Burgess Classics to explore the delightful world of common birds and their habitats. Learn about birds with Thornton Burgess gives you day-by-day -day step lesson plans with leisurely reading schedules, nature study ideas to encourage your students to apply what they are learning, master bird lists for you to record the birds you see in your own backyard and out in nature, bird habitat templates for the added challenge for older students, cross-reference to the Handbook of Nature Study for further optional studies. And this just says, spark a lifelong appreciation for nature and good books through learning about birds with Thornton Burgess. So we are excited about this. We're excited uh, that we're going to be doing this. I do also have another unit study that I will be sharing in another video that we're going to um, add in with this. But this, like I said, will be our spine. And so we are very excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what is in here. Um, let's just go through, kind of take a little flip through, look inside. It's got, um, I'm sorry, here it tells you the contents. It talks about introduction, material needed, suggested schedules for a year of studies. Now, we won't be going through this schedule this way because we switch the things we're using and because this is a science handbook and we do this um, once a week. And um, so it will take us longer and that is fine too. This is the introduction about it. it pretty much the information I read on the back. It gives you a list of materials needed. It gives you uh, suggested schedules for a year of studies, how you could do it, like week one, do lessons one and two. Like I said, we'll be doing ours in a whole different way than this, but we are going to be doing it all the same. So it gives you lesson one. It tells you material needed. You're going to need the Burgess Bird Book for Children, which is this book. This book right here. It says that you are going to need a bird field guide, which we have one. Actually, we have two. This is another one that I picked up also of uh, the North American birds, and it's absolutely, it's just stunning inside. Absolutely beautiful. They're both beautiful, but I got this at Barnes and Nobles, and it was on sale for 10, and they're normally 40. So, and this one is just as beautiful inside also. It's got pictures of the birds, such great information. And you just go through so many different birds. So this is a great book also. So those we need. And then it says to add in Blackie the Crow. 
So we'll be reading this book also. And then the last thing it tells you to do 50 Favorite Birds Coloring Book. And this is by Dober. And so it goes through and it has all the different birds that they're going to talk about in our read aloud book, which will be this book. And it will give us the books and the pictures that we need to color. And we love coloring, water painting. Uh, we love watercolors. We love oils. We love to do chalk. So however my children choose to do these is going to be fine with me. But these are the ones that they say that you need in order to be able to do the lessons in this book. And then it tells you to give your student a bird field guide. Ask him to find a house wren. The house wren is the first thing that we studied. So we went through, we looked up the information on the house wren. We read all the information in this book. It gives you the size. It talks about a male, a female, juvenile, nest, eggs, incubation, um, fledging, migration, food, compare, and then stands notes. And so it gives you a beautiful, I don't want to have a glare in there, I'm sorry. There, that might be better there. And that way we would know what it looked like. It's just like I said, outstanding picture. So we went ahead and looked, the, looked up the information about the um, house wren. And then it talks about reading the book together. And the first chapter, it's really sweet. It is the old orchard. No, I'm sorry. That's not the first one. Jenny Wren arrives. So it's going to talk about her arriving, the little house wren arriving to her location. And I am excited about this book. It is going to be fabulous. There's a lot of great things. I think there's 45. Let me make sure. Yes, 45 chapters in here. This is our read aloud that we will be using all um, Monday through Friday. So we will always be ready for our lesson and prepared because we will be ahead in this book. Um, what we did, so we went ahead and we read the story about Jenny Wren. We talked about it. Um, we did oral narrations. And then we um, let the children pick and color however they wanted to. So this one is my ninth grader, Ava's. And then this is my kindergartner, Mason's. And he did a fabulous job. I was so impressed. And Ava always does beautiful work. Um, so like I said, they're heavy enough. I made copies on nice thick paper so that they could do whatever they wanted to. They had choice of what they wanted to do. They chose. My daughter used... Um, colored pencils, and my son used regular crayons. So that was fun to do. They also suggest that you, um, some of the notes and tips for teaching as getting them a nice book where they can have a sketchbook so that they can actually sketch a picture of the house run. And I got these, um, these are from Ann Vance Paper Company. And it has a scripture on the front. And the paper in here is actually just so fantastic. It's really like a shiny, so they can do watercolors on here. It's a, it's the perfect book for this. I got them each one. This one has Mason's, if you can see there, his name on it. And then Ava has her name and a scripture on each one. I also picked up this sketchbook here. So if they wanted to go ahead and use these, whatever they, you know, they can color watercolor on this it tears out and I'm going to do do a little portfolio of their artwork so I'm excited I will be saving all the pictures that they either paint color do chalk work and then their um, personal sketches I think that's will be so beautiful to have so I'm excited about that I also have um, some other books I'm going to implement in and a couple games that we're going to add in that we'll be playing on uh, opposite Fridays, we two Fridays a month, we do school, I'm sorry, game schooling. And I have some fun things about birds that we'll be adding in. Um, one of the books we're going to add in is Julia Rothman and Nature Anatomy. And we're, we'll be going through A Little Bird Told Me. 
and just going through here looking for the birds they are talking about finding out other information about other birds and just seeing all the beautiful illustrations that they have and how many i'm just so excited to see how many different birds we're going to spot so i'm excited to do that it talks about feathers the anatomy it talks about parts of a bird and just bird calls and how they sound and um, then it talks about the nest you go through the nesting the different ones that they do and then it talks about the eggs so extra no extraordinary eggs so I really like this and then just you know how they're mating they're bathing all the information great information the prey goes through it just talks about talks about beaks and their wingspan um, whether they're in the air they build their nest in the air on the ground and so I'm excited to add this in so this will be um, one that we will utilize I also have this bird log book and I really like this it has a lot of great things in here it talks about bird and what you're gonna do gives you some great tips it gives you a list dates bird names and you can enter those in here and then it gives you the same information here it talks about weather condition bird location um, how big is the bird any distinctive markings what colors are on it what shape are the wings and it just goes through several things and then it has fun facts on the side so I got them each one of these so we can log the birds that we do see I also um, got some other books these are 50 state birds and flowers a coloring book um, I picked up this bird watcher coloring book and then I got this one for my son because he's younger and it has some fun pictures in here of different birds that he can color. He can also use any of these because I can make copies and distribute those for them to use. Um, the next things I want to share with you are some books that we're going to implement in. Charlotte Mason loved literature, loved beautiful picture books and just books with children and just reading. And so we have become a family. Um, we are we don't follow Charlotte Mason it, to the T, but we implement a lot of her teachings and her suggestions into our homeschool. So some of the books I'm just going to show you really quick are Birds Look and Learn, 99 Birds, 199 Birds, I'm sorry, Birds Explore Nature with Fun Facts and Activities, National Geographic, Little Kids First Big Book of Birds. And this is absolutely beautiful. It tells you where you can find them. It gives you such great information. It's got beautiful pictures in it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. White storks. So it's just fabulous. It's got so much great information in this book. So this is a favorite that we have. I also have the Ultimate Sticker Book, North American Birds, and I like this because you go through and it has sceneries and it kind of tells you where to place the birds, what birds go on what pages, and you peel them off. It talks about wetlands and sea, seashores, the lakes and river birds, parks and backyard birds. So it's just really fun to be able to go through and place them where they would go. So I really liked this one. The other one I have is, of course, the Big Book of Birds. And I do have the sticker book that goes along with this. Okay, let me get the next pile here. Why do birds fly south? And why do birds sing? Answer some great questions. This is a fun Lift the Flap birdhouse. And I a lot of these I added in um, for my five-year-old and we love lifting the flaps and just seeing their different homes and there's just so many different flaps you can pull and look through and there's little things to read underneath so that was another book we added by Osborne this book I actually got at a thrift store and it was like a dollar and it's birds at your fingertips and I like it because every time you open it it kind of has a cutout and you just go through it. it talks about all different types of birds and just um, beautiful illustrations and I thought it would be fun It'd be a great book to add to our study this is all about birds a guide for children and it's just got some fabulous things it talks about how they run where they nest how they do together what um, nocturnal birds there are this is a great one also this is feathers not just for flying 
and it goes through and it talks about feathers and why they have feathers. And it isn't only for them to fly. Isn't that peacock beautiful? It talks about the feather and just how pretty they are. So I really liked this book. I also have How Do Birds Find Their Way, which is an important question. How do they find their way? How do they know when they migrate? How do they know to find their way back where they're going and then to come back to where they were? So that was a good book. The next one I have are Birds and Their Feathers. And this is a great book. It's got some beautiful pictures and just great information in here. So I liked this one a lot. It's just a great book. We have several books. I pulled this many to show you right now. I will show some more when I do uh, talk about the unit study that I'll be doing. This one is An Egg is Quiet, A Nest is Noisy, and Mama Built a Little Nest. So all of these books we are going to be adding in and reading throughout the time that we are doing learning about birds. Um, the next thing that I'm going to share with you, these are three-part cards, and it's wonderful for my son and my daughter to match. You can either do two-part if they're young, like this, or you can add the three-part, and then you can match the word below. So it's got all the birds that I had here. You can buy these by tubes. So the birds that I have here are the ones that are on these cards. So my son will match these while we're doing read-alouds, and it occupies him while we're doing that. So that works wonderfully. Then we also have um, match a pair of birds. These are absolutely beautiful. It's a memory game. Critical thinking. This is really good. And it also gives you information about I have not used this one yet, but I have one on bugs, which is the same. And it just gives you um, information, and it's just a memory. It tells you about them, and they're just really pretty, pretty cards. So we have those. That's one game that we'll do. Um, the second one I pulled is Birds of North America, and this is Professor Noggin, and I love this. If you've not played it, get, you roll the die, and you will then get pick which category you want easy or hard, and it goes through and talks about all different birds, so this is great. Um, I have not opened this. I ordered this to go along with this unit. I also got these. I love these. This is the bald eagle. And just all the different birds. The robin. The little chickadee. They're so pretty. So I got these because I knew my mason would absolutely, whoops, I can't set those up very good there. You want to kind of tip over on me. But that way he would have them to um, hear and touch and feel because he loves things that are tangible. So this is what I've got um, for my children. And I'm so excited. We did the first lesson. I'm excited to do the next one. Um, we'll be doing it on Friday again. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, Give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will know when I'm doing more videos. And if you have any questions at all, and if I haven't, I, sometimes I don't um, explain myself thoroughly enough. Or if you have any questions and want to see this book further, please let me know that. And I just pray that you have a beautiful day and that your Wednesday is wonderful. Thank you so much and may God richly bless you. Bye-bye.